Good evening everyone, I'm Commandant Chef. The Cardinals had a busy week with no off days as today they look to take three out of four against the Rockies. Not a lot of offense in this one, scoreless in the fifth until Randall Grichik hits a towering fly ball to center. It's deep and gone for a two run homer, his 12th of the season. The Rockies would answer back in the sixth though. Ben Paulson, he homered yesterday and today he would rip a double into right that won't eventually one hop the wall the lead is cut in half Colorado adds one more to tie the game at two but the newest Cardinal Brandon Moss would come through in the ninth runners on the corners one out and Moss delivers the walk off single the cards win three two to take three out of four for the series on the football we're continuing with our fan vote today right now seven seeded Mark Tree has jumped out to a solid lead with 80 percent of the vote against the two seed Valley View but the Blazers have time to catch up polls closed tonight at 10 and in today's other matchup the fourth seed Cave City has 60 percent of the vote against fifth seeded Osceola but Osceola only needs a few votes to catch up head to KIT8.com to vote I'll announce the winners tonight during Region 8 sports at 10. And we are less than a day away from our first week of high school fall football practices. Teams start their practices on Monday, and we will have you covered right here on KIT. Every day we'll have a different story on a different team in Region 8. Almost 40 teams in 20 days will be covered. We'll have features and raw interviews on KIT8.com. And all this is leading up to September 3rd and our Football Friday Night preseason special. On the NASCAR, as we saw a truly dramatic Windows 10, 400 race today. Kyle Busch looking to continue his hot streak and win his fourth Sprint Cup race in a row. 58th lap. Look at Brad Keselowski trying to make a pit stop, but he runs over his pit crew. Maybe his brakes weren't working, but let's take another look at this scary sight right here. Thankfully, everyone was okay. It got crazy late in this one. Three laps to go. Joey Logano leading, but he runs out of gas, so Kyle Busch takes the lead. Final lap now, and this time it's Bush who runs out of gas. So Matt Kenseth goes on to win. Bush finished 21st. On the horse racing Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh was back competing in his first race since winning the Triple Crown. The Hasco Invitational, American Pharaoh, was in second early, but then pulled away from the pack. American Pharaoh had a huge lead, but eased back at the end. But of course, as expected, American Pharaoh wins the Hasco Invitational in his return to the track. To the Women's British Open, J.Y. Coe looking for a two-shot lead on the seventh hole, and she oh, wow. has it as she sinks the eagle putt. But NB Park would keep up on the tenth hole. Park going for a fourth straight birdie, and she makes the long putt. She moves to nine under and two shots off the lead. On the fourteenth hole now, Park this time going for eagle, and she makes that one too, of course. J.Y. Coe would start the fade on the thirteenth hole. She doesn't get enough. On this shot right here, she really struggled down the stretch. Park shoots the final round 65 and beats Coe by three strokes to win the British Open. She's won four or five majors in her career. Former Razorback Stacy Lewis finished tied for 17th. And it was so cool to see American Pharaoh back on the track. Oh, it's definitely. one of those deals like, you know, Michael Jordan plays a game, you mm. watch, you know. Oh, yeah. Other sports, Peyton Manning, mm. but, you know, horse racing, it's American Pharaoh. Oh, for sure. Everybody yes. loves them. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Common. And stay with us. We'll be right back.